What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aquarius, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for a sign of Aquarius. This could resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, and Hand with your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free, free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for a sign of Aquarius. This is a bonus reading for June of 2022. Um, I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're 13,160 ah, 13, subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you think anyone else would like my channel or... Um, etc 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 please feel free to share my channel very publicly on social media and word of mouth i very much appreciate it um love and appreciate each and every one of you guys if you'd like to donate it's high priestess to five the links in the description box below paypal only no cash app no venmo only if you feel guided to donate these are psychic intuitive messages so it's, so it's very important to only take the messages to resonate one may apply two may apply two plus may apply none may apply only you know your uh, specific story and situation not anybody else so you have to plug it in however it resonates and applies for your own particular life and situation. Okay. So uh, we're going to dive into this. I heard Aquarius next and I um, got some channel messages. So I'm going to deliver them. I hope everybody is doing well on June 19th of 2022. Okay. So um, the channels I heard for you guys' signs uh I heard uh, the first one I heard was um, an Aquarius is about to deliver very important information to someone soon. That was the first one. The second one I heard someone is about to deliver an Aquarius very important information soon. That was the second one. Um, and damn it, I forgot the third one. I forgot the third one. If I remember it, I'll let you know. I'm sorry. But you are about to deliver, if this message applies for you, Aquarius, you're about to deliver very important information to uh, um, somebody soon. So you are about to deliver. For one. Two, someone's about to deliver important information to you. For some of you guys, it could be both. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. But some kind of very important information delivered in some shape, form, or fashion. However, that resonates and applies, okay? Spirit messages you have to play this. It's not important. I encourage everyone to check out their sun, moon, rising, and north node signs as well. Uh, for additional message or messages if they apply to your specific story and situation. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember the third one. I remember the third one. Life altering events coming soon. Yeah, that was it. I was like, man, life altering events coming soon. Yeah, that was it. I was like, oh man, that was it, number three. Life altering events coming soon. So yeah. So you plug it in how it resonates. Now that's upcoming. That's futuristic. I heard coming soon. Wow. Okay. So life altering events coming soon. So that could be life altering events coming to you or somebody you're connected to. Maybe it's with this very important information being delivered to you or you're delivering to somebody else. But some kind of life altering events coming soon. Whether you're the power play mover delivering the information and creating these life-altering events or somebody is delivering the information to you and creating these life-altering events how that resonates is what i'm feeling but you plug it in how it resonates wow okay you got phoenix and dragon which are both beautiful energies for some i feel you're dealing with the fire sign at aries leo sag for some i feel you could be dealing with two or two plus fire signs because these are both fire sign energies in the animal spirit set so you for some I feel you're dealing with one for some two or two plus heavy fireside energy in your bonus reading Aries Leo Sagittarius energy they have Aries Leo or Sag in their Sun Moon Rising Venus North and Ben Hammer Jupiter charts if you are dealing with one two or two plus fire signs I love the Phoenix and I love the Dragon okay.
An Aquarius is about to heal from a prostitution addiction. An Aquarius is about to heal from a porn addiction. And an Aquarius is about to heal from a very dark side witch. Hex removal. Oh my God. You plug, that is so strong, Aquarius. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, that's good. A lot of healing. A lot of healing in June of 2022. So you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys is about to deal, uh, not deal, not deal, heal, heal, H-E-A-L, heal, heal. Um, heal from a porn addiction. So one of you guys has a porn addiction in some shape, form, or fashion. You're about to heal from it. So um, maybe you've got somebody special in your life is what I'm feeling. And um, you don't need the porn anymore. Um, maybe. Or you just... Um, just don't feel like watching it as much. I mean, I don't know. Only you know your specific story and situation. You plug it in, how it resonates. But somebody's about to heal from a porn addiction. That's at least for one. For one, it's a uh, prostitution addiction. So you've been paying for a prostitute or prostitutes, and you're about to heal from that. So that might be that prostitution ring that's about to get uh, broken up. I pulled that in in Capricorn's reading. Some uh, Capricorn is about to expose. A secret prostitution ring. So for one of you guys, you just might not have any choices in um, your community prostitution ring because it's about to get broke up, maybe for some, and that's how you're going to heal, possibly. Or you just don't want any, any more prostitutes, uh, and you choose to save your money. How that resonates? Only you know your story, not anybody else. That's number two. And number three, the best one I find the most interesting and the greatest one. Um, one of you guys. Um, it sounds like you were dealing with a very dark witch. And we're not talking about the fun kitchen witch, fun um, garden witch energy. We're talking about the dark side succubus energy. Heavy succubus energy. Oh, Lord. And I was feeling that. Succubus energy, heavy succubus energy. So one of you guys was dealing with a very heavy succubus. Anybody doesn't know a succubus is a them energy that has basically conjured a sex demon sex demonic entity upon themselves to make themselves look more attractive um for and when they have sex with the other person it basically lures them in so strong and they crave the sex so bad that they got to come back for it and they got to come back for it and they got to come back for it and they got to come back for it some of these, uh, some succubuses turn into prostitutes because they know they have got their bait hooked so bad that they know they'll come back and they know they'll pay for it. So they would turn into prostitutes. And I'm not saying number three was a prostitute situation, but for some, I feel it might, might have been. Um, but whoever you are, whether it was or wasn't, um, you have woke up to this or you're about to and you're about to go visit um somebody to get a hex removal um and you're about to be broke free from it i heard about to be broke free from it so whoever you're about to visit really is skilled in hex removal they're very skilled in hex removal they're very light side and they know what the hell they're doing and they're about to help you out in a huge ass way and um about to free you from the dark dark side um spiritualist over there because that's basically what they are dark side spiritualist um a succubus a, a succubus energy i heard they were succubus um oh my god you plug and that could be any of those three is the phoenix rising from the ashes over here i just want to say any of those three is the phoenix rising from the ashes healing from any of those Number three is the biggest one to heal from, buddy. I'm just telling you that right any of those are, but especially number three. Breaking free from a succubus is a huge ass thing. And that's just the truth. Because those succubuses, they know they know what the hell they're doing. They some of those people, it's uh, succubuses are the females, incubuses are males. But succubuses or incubuses, and in this case the female. 
she, I'm pretty sure she had been practicing on the dark side for a long ass time. And she knew what the hell she was doing when she lured you in with the sex. And you, it sounds like you got fucking addicted. So addicted. But about to break free in a huge ass way. So addicted, but about to get a uh, break free in a huge ass way. Oh, yes. You go with your bad self, Aquarius. Holy crap, moly. You go with your bad ass self. Oh, my God. <laughs> Spirit messages you have for sign Aquarius. That is so good, man. That's a good one. Spirit messages you have for sign Aquarius. This, this Aquarius is about to turn it around on this succubus in a huge ass way. A huge way. For one Aquarius, it is an incubus. Oh my God. About to turn it around on the incubus in a huge way. Oh my God. Okay, so I was waiting to see if I heard anything else. Okay, so one of you guys is a succubus, a female, dark side spiritualist. Well, one is an incubus, male, dark side spiritualist. Both of you guys are about to turn it around on the succubus and the incubus in huge ways. So you're about to, oh my lord, are you emotional about a situation, Aquarius? Or somebody emotional about you? Or maybe somebody's got addictions or you got addictions? Cards just flew. Hold on. Um, yeah, so you're about to transmute the energy, basically. You're about to transmute the freaking energy, man, back onto the succubus or the incubus. For some of you guys, you're dealing with a male. For some, you're dealing with a female succubus. For some, a male succu uh, incubus. Sex, they have conjured up demonic sex entities upon themselves. Oh, my God. And I feel for some you were paying for it. And I'm just being for real. Oh my God. Spirit messages you have sign of Aquarius. But I heard you're about to transmute the energy on them in a huge ass way, man. You go with your badass self, Aquarius. They are about to ever regret messing with you. They are about to ever regret messing with you is what I heard. They are about to ever regret messing with your ass. That's what I'm talking about. You go with your bad self. Bridge successfully overcoming a problem. That's these three over here just saying. Someone going out of your life or the end of the situation. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. Experience to this, you have for the or for sign of Aquarius. Love? Oh, wow. And I love that card. Experience to this, you have for the sign of Aquarius. Faith? Number 11, uh, I'm sorry, not 11. Number 31 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 31, it could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number in one's life. Number 31. Also, number 38, 43, 42, 44. Also, number 38, 42, 43, 44. So, we've got 
and 47. And 47. And 47. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. So, okay. So double fire sign energy. I strongly feel you're dealing with the Aries Leo Sag or two or two plus Aries Leo Sages because these are both fire sign cards in the animal spirit. Phoenix. Definite Phoenix rising from the ashes from these three situations for sure, for sure. And Aquarius is about to get a huge fire lit under their ass in a very positive transmuting of the energy kind of way. About to get a move on it soon and quickly. Okay. Aquarius, you got a fire lit under your ass there, whoever you are, sir or ma'am. Okay, so I heard you're about to get a huge fire lit under your ass in a very positive transmuting of the energy kind of way. Soon and quickly. So you're about to do something very soon and quickly, whatever it is. Now, anybody doesn't know, transmuting, transmuting of the energy is turning the energy around to benefit you in a positive way. That is transmuting of the energy for anybody who doesn't know. So one of you guys is about to transmute the energy to benefit you in a positive way. For some, I feel it's these things. For some, it could be something else. For some, it could be the delivering the information or the receiving of the information. But whatever it is, you're about to transmute the energy. For some, it could be several of these situations, if several of these apply for you. But And you're about to do a sin quickly. So you're not going to hold on it. You're not going to delay. You're not going to create stagnancies. You're about to do it and do it quickly. Whatever this is of the transmuting of the energy, if they apply for any of these situations or any of this or anything else, okay? Quickly, fire sign energy. You're about to do it soon and quickly. You're about to be the phoenix rising from the ashes. You're about to transmute the energy. Something negative has come your way is what I'm feeling. And you're about to transmute it is what I'm feeling here. That's exactly what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates, okay? But I heard you're about to do it soon and quickly, whatever the hell this is. I didn't hear anything else. For one, you're strongly dealing with the Libra. One, you're strongly dealing with the Cancer. One, you're strongly dealing with the Libra. One, you're strongly dealing with the Cancer. One, you're strongly dealing with the Leo. One, you're strongly dealing with the Leo. So one, you're strongly deal dealing with the Libra. One, a Cancer. One, a Leo. So you plug it in how it resonates. Libra and Cancer and Leo energy. They could have Libra, Cancer, or Leo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, 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 Jupiter charts. If this resonates for you, Aquarius, um, some kind of transmuting of the energy to benefit you in a positive way. It could, I feel it could go in a positive or negative way for this Libra, Leo, or Cancer. However, these people apply in your life. I feel it could be a masculine or feminine Libra, Leo, or Cancer. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Dragon. And Virgo, and Virgo, Libra, Leo, Cancer, and Virgo, Libra, Leo, Cancer, Virgo, okay, they can have Libra, Leo, Cancer, or Virgo, Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts, Dragon, About to be a huge protector soon. Masculine energy. To a feminine energy. About to be a huge protector soon to a ma uh, your masculine energy. If this resonates for you, you're about to be a huge protector to a feminine energy. If this resonates for you, Aquarius. So 
I feel this is protecting protector energy, dragon energy, protector. Um, dragons can be protectors. Um, they're usually very scary. People are usually afraid as hell of dragons, just for real, for real. They're scared as fuck of dragons, but um, they can, they're protectors. They really are. They're like a, you know, like a big, giant, sweet thing. You know, if you treat them right, like a pit bull, kind of. I mean, depending, you know. I think of like, you, everybody, anybody seen Game of Thrones, the mother of dragons? Just saying, just saying. I mean, they don't have to be. Um, they can be protectors. They protected her. Um, if I was going to be anybody on Game of Thrones, I would want to be her. The hot little blonde chick. What, well, hot little brunette chick. I don't want to change my, my color. But I'm just saying, like, like her. I think of the mother of dragons in a way. But the dragons protected her. So you're going to be like a dragon protecting the mother of dragons is what I'm feeling. I'm trying to make an analogy here. I mean, I'm for real. I feel like I heard you're about to protect a masculine. You're about to be a masculine energy. You're, so you're going to take on the dragon energy. And you're going to protect a feminine energy. So I feel like I think of the scene in Game of Thrones where the mother of dragons and the dragons protected their mother, the hot little blonde chick. So you're going to protect a feminine energy. If that um, resonates for you. That's pretty cool. An Aries is about to become a pain in your ass. And a Scorpio. Masculine energies. But you are about to handle this in a wonderful way. About to transmute the energy on their ass with some facts. They will back down in a huge ass way. Know this. Oh my God. I heard. Um, okay. So an Aries uh, masculine and a Scorpio masculine is about to become a huge pain in your ass soon. I heard. Um, if this resonates for you. Masculine Aquarius. Masculine Aquarius. So you're a masculine Aquarius that this message applies for you. And I heard an Aries masculine and a Scorpio masculine is about to come a huge pain in your ass soon. But you are about to transmute the energy with facts, I heard, with facts. And I heard they're going to back down in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates, masculine Aquarius. You've got some kind of facts. You're about to spit on this. Um, you're basically about to spit some damn facts. To this Aquarius, I mean, not to this Aquarius, to this um, Aries masculine and this Scorpio masculine. I heard they're going to back down in a huge way. It could be regarding protecting this feminine energy or not. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But there is some kind of Aries masculine and uh, Scorpio masculine that is about to become a huge pain in your ass. Whoever you are, Aquarius masculine. And you're basically about to spit facts. So you're about to spit the truth, spit facts to this. Aries masculine and this Scorpio masculine, and I heard they're going to back down. Back down in a huge ass way, like a tail between their legs. Back down in a huge ass way, like a tail with um tail between their legs. So I, I picture like a dog with a tail between their legs. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. Holy crap, Aquarius. This is some strong energy, but good. You're an Aqu uh, Aquarius masculine, if that resonates for you, sir. Good Lord. Bridge successfully overcoming a problem, and that could be this. Just saying, just saying. Um, you're about to stand up in a huge way to this Aquarius. Uh, not Aquarius. Um, maybe they have Aquarius in their chart. Um, for some, they may. But Aries masculine and um, Scorpio masculine. That resonates for you. Successfully, successfully overcoming a problem. A subpoena is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. A subpoena is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. So you plug it in how it resonates. So um, you could be subpoenaed, or you're going to subpoena somebody, or something of that nature, some kind of subpoena energy. 
Uh, how that resonates, Aquarius, uh, subpoenas felt most significant. So feel you could be subpoenaing somebody if you work in the legal sector or um, or you could be subpoenaed. Ask, you know, you have to go on the stand or how that resonates. Um, some kind of subpoena energy. And that successfully is overcoming a problem in some shape, form, or fashion. Feel like it could be you could be subpoenaed or somebody else could be subpoenaed or however that resonates. An Aquarius is about to get into a very significant argument with the water sign sun. But know this water sign sun will back down. An Aquarius is about to get into a very significant argument. Adult water sign sun. An Aquarius is about to get into a very significant argument with an adult, adult water sign sun. But I heard no, he will back down. So successfully overcoming your problem, um, you have an adult water sign sun. If that resonates for you, Aquarius, I feel you could be masculine or feminine um, if that message applies for you. Um, but you have an adult water sign sun, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, adult sun. But I heard it sounds like you, it don't sound like it happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. You're about to get into this significant argument with this um, adult water sign sun. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, son of yours. I feel he might be, I feel he's biological. For some, he could be a foster child, but I feel for a lot of you guys, he's biological. Um, and I heard he will back down. So successfully overcoming your problem, um, him backing down is what I'm feeling. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Basket, someone, a hidden gem. An Aquarius is about to, Really, really help this hidden gem not become hidden anymore. No more. Through many, 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 many series of same events. About to make it go very public, very viral. Well deserved. Wow, Aquarius, you go with your bad self. So some kind of hidden gem energy. Um Feminine energy, a femme energy. So it's a femme energy hidden gem that you know of in some shape, form, or fashion. Uh, I feel you can be masculine or feminine if this message applies for you, but um, there's some kind of femme energy hidden gem. Um, you know they're a hidden gem energy, but basically you don't want them to be hidden anymore because you know they deserve not to be hidden. I heard you're about to help them go viral and very public very soon. So I feel they might have a public platform or their story might, um, maybe you know their story, or they have a public platform, or somehow you're going to help them go viral and very public. So it might be their story, it might be a public platform, it might be something they do very publicly, whatever this is, and however this applies. But you know they deserve, in some shape, form, or fashion, to go very public or viral or something. Um, maybe it's the work they do or a story they have to tell or something of that nature. And you're about to help it go that way. How that resonates and applies in your life. And that to me, um, I feel that could be successfully overcoming a problem in your life or somebody you're connected to's life, maybe in her life. You plug it in how it resonates. If that message applies for you, it's some, it's a femme energy you know. Confirmation for my kitty, by the way. Come on, fat boy. Come on, fat boy. Come on. Casket, someone going out of your life or the end of the situation. A workplace situation with the cancer is about to end. Permanently. You know it needs to. A workplace situation with their cancer is about to end permanently. You know it needs to. So um, some kind of workplace situation with the cancer. Um, I'm assuming they're about to go out of your life in a workplace situation. I heard you know it needs to end. And, um, and you're right. So... You plug it in, how it resonates, what kind of cancerian energy. 
I feel they could be masculine or feminine cancer. They could have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine behavior to your charts. If that resonates for you. A death is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life as well. And an investigation on a cold case related to, relating to black magic. Okay, and a, um, a death is about to become significant in Aquarius's life soon. And a cold case relating to a um, relating to a um, death connected to black magic. So um, dark arts, black magic. You plug it in, how it resonates. So cold case energy connected to dark arts is about to become significant in your life as well. And a death. It sounds like upcoming death. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. A wedding of an Aquarius's child is significant soon. A wedding of a, an Aquarius's child is significant soon. Adult child. Okay, so a wedding of uh, an Aquarius's adult child is significant soon. So if this resonates for you, Aquarius, you have an adult child. And um, it sounds like they're about to get married soon. So in this aspect, it is a physical marriage. Because we have married your business on here. A physical marriage of your adult child. If that resonates for you. I feel you can be masculine or feminine Aquarius. Um, and your adult child is about to get married soon. Congrats to um, whoever's child is about to get married. Adult child. Thank God it's an adult child. And not some weird um, arranged marriage. Um, which that should not ever happen in 2022. I just want to make that very clear. And Aquarius is thinking about reaching out to a feminine energy for a position. But they are not sure they will take it. And you are right. They probably won't. Many things have changed. Okay. And an Aquarius is thinking about reaching out to a feminine energy for a position. Um, very nice position. Very nice position is what I heard. Uh, for a very nice position. It sounds like a workplace position. But I heard they uh, probably won't because so many things have changed. So um, just know, Aquarius, that that message applies for you. You're thinking, uh, apparently you're thinking about reaching out to a feminine energy. It's a very nice position, whatever it is and how this applies. So it's not some crap position somewhere. It's a, it's a nice position. Uh, for some, I feel it could be positions of high authority, possibly. I didn't hear it was, but possibly. Um, but it is a nice position, whatever it is, and how this applies. But I heard, just know she probably won't take it now because so many things have changed. So if that message applies for you. And that's in the business aspect. And lingerie is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. One, spicing up the marriage. One... A new relationship. It The relationship has not happened yet. Okay, Aquarius. Spicy. Holy shit, Molly. Lingerie. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so for one of you guys, um, <laughs> I love it. Okay, so, <laughs> so one of you guys, um, um, you got me like, whoa, Aquarius, what the hell? <laughs> you got me like, whoa. Oh, shit. Okay. So, um, one of you guys, you're about to... <laughs> Sorry. You're about to spice up your marriage. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I think you got me in flush. You got me in flush in. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, hey. I have you pick out the lingerie. I'm just saying. I, I'm i good at picking out some fucking lingerie. I'm just saying. I am for real, for real. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what do you guys want to spice up your marriage? There's nothing wrong with that, ma'am or sir. 
if that resonates. There is nothing wrong with that. I think you might be a man. And I'm just being for real. I think you might be a man. Because you're about to pick out lingerie to spice up your marriage. Well, no, you could be a dude, too. You could be a dude, too. You could be a dude picking it out for your woman. Hey, that nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. You could be a man or a sir. Um, so some kind of lingerie to spice up your marriage, whether you're a man or a woman. No judgments here, ma'am or sir. You go with your bad self. I I hope you pick it out. I mean, well, no, I would, but then your spouse would probably think we're cheating or something. I ain't gonna build that. I'm not gonna build that. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that is what I'm trying to say. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? You go with your bad self if you're about to pick out some lingerie, whether it's for your spouse or you're picking it out to impress your spouse or what have you, what have you. I'm moving on. You go with your bad self if that resonates for you. You're currently in a marriage, a marriage, and you're about to pick out some lingerie, whether it's for on yourself or for your spouse. You plug it in how it resonates. That's for one. And for one, lingerie is about to become significant in your life, Aquarius. The relationship hasn't happened yet. So, I don't know if you're going to pick out this lingerie for your upcoming pr um, prospective person or they're going to pick it out um, and it's going to impress the hell out of you or what have you, what have you. But if that message applies for you, I feel you could be a masculine or a feminine and it's an upcoming relationship. So, it has not happened yet. It's upcoming. It sounds like it's going to knock your socks off or you're going to knock off somebody's socks. <laughs> However, that resonates, Aquarius. Oh, shit, I like that very much. Love? Renewment of vows. For one, feminine Aquarius. Renewment, renewal of vows. Oh, renewment. Isn't it renewal? Her renewment. Renewment of vows? That's not a damn thing. Renewal of vows. Renewal of vows for one of you guys. You're a, a femme Aquarius. So maybe you're going to ask your spouse to renew your vows. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe you're the one about to pick out the lingerie. Hell, you go with your bad self, ma'am. If that resonates for you. I don't know if it is or isn't. You only, you know, these messages uh, connect, but it, to me, it could connect. Um, wow. I, you really love your partner. If this resonates for you and you want to spice it up possibly and renew your vows, you go with your bad self, ma'am. If that resonates for you. Oh my God. I love it. You're a femme Aquarius and you're married. Uh, I'll tell you that you're legally married and you want to, Renew your vows. 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 Yeah, that. Vows. Okay. I think that's beautiful, ma'am. If that resonates for you. It sounds like you truly care. It sounds like you truly care. Oh, my gosh. I, I'm all mushy-gushy up in here. You are legally married, and you're a femme Aquarius, if that resonates for you. I think you truly love your married spouse. And let me tell you, that's hard to find in fucking 2022. And that's just the damn truth. It really is, for real, for real. And a masculine Aquarius is about to fall head over fucking heels very quick through many series of chain events. And a masculine Aquarius is about to fall head over heels through many, uh, head over fucking heels, I heard. Head over fucking heels through many series of chain events quick. So love. Oh my God, we got love in the air, you guys. I wasn't even going to do these readings tonight. I just wasn't. But I'm so fucking glad I did. Especially this one. What is up with this one? This is the bomb, man. We're, we're almost 40 fucking minutes. Damn. Okay, so a masculine Aquarius is about to... um uh, Fall head of her fucking heels through many series of chain events quick. Love. I mean, hell, we don't talk about love up in this bitch. Um, and that's just the truth. I expose the meth labs. I expose the heroin shit. I expose the people fucking um, laundering drugs out of a hospital, warehouse, and 
facilities. I mean, I expose all that shit up in here. We don't ever talk about love. It's nice to actually talk about love up in this bitch. I feel we need to get a song. And I didn't get one for Capricorn. Damn. So Aquarius is about to fall head over fucking heels through many series of tame events quick. Um, I feel it's in love. Because um, we have love, man. Sappho love. If y'all can see it. That's that's some good shit. Let me get a song, okay? A Virgo is about to become very pissed at this Aquarius. Know this. A Virgo is about to become very pissed at this Aquarius. And a Gemini. But the Gemini will definitely not do anything about it. Will definitely back away quickly. And the Virgo will not either. Oh my God. Aquarius. Whoever you're about to pursue here. Aquarius masculine. Okay, we're in a, uh, Okay, we gotta wait a second. Um, okay, Aquarius masculine. Damn. Okay, so you're about to pursue somebody. Um, I heard you're about to fall ahead over fucking heels quick through many series of tame events. So I don't think you've uh, pursued this person yet. I think you're probably interested in this person, but you haven't actually pursued them yet. Um, if this message applies for you, you're Aquarius masculine. And you, but you haven't, I think you're obviously attracted to them. I think you know them. I just don't think you've pursued them. But I will tell you, whoever this person is you're about to pursue, there's at least two other people in the universe uh, interested in them. At least two. Um, I heard Virgo and Gemini. Hell, it might be 200 Virgos and 500 Geminis for all we fucking know. Or it could just be one and one. But I heard Virgo and Gemini. A Virgo, um, a Gemini will definitely not do anything about it. Not at all, not at all. Uh, and a Virgo, the Virgo won't either. But the Virgos will be very, very pissed. Um, it sounds like the Gemini probably will be too, but they're, um, it don't sound like they're not they're not going to pursue it all at all at all. Um, but my point is, you're about to pursue this person. But these two people are interested in this person, but they have not pursued this person. Um, now, why they haven't, I have no fucking idea. But they will be pissed, it sounds like, when you pursue this person. Very, very, very pissed behind the scenes. But it's their fucking loss. Oh my fucking god! Whoa! We are so juicy up in here tonight. Oh, oh my god. Ah, wow, you got me like, whoa, Aquarius. Okay, wow, this is so juicy. Okay, so I heard that. Oh shit. So they, they will be pissed. Um, they are interested in this person, but they haven't told this person they're interested. They haven't. They have not pursued. They've been like little tails between their legs. They just, I don't know what the hell their, their problem is. I don't know why the hell they have it. I don't know. I'm not them. But they are interested in this person, but they have not pursued this person. But you are about to. You are about to be a power play mover here. Um, and it sounds like when you pursue this person, you're going to fall in love with them, whether you think you are or not. Um, I don't know if you already are in love with them or not. I don't feel you are. I heard through many series of chain events you will. You're going to fall head over fucking heels. So it hasn't happened yet. Um, but just know that whoever you're about to pursue, there's at least two other people in the universe, at uh, two masculines, um, that uh, want this person too. But they have not got the courage or the confidence up to pursue this person. But you're about to do it. Damn, and it sounds like it's about to be worth it. You plug it in, how it fucking resonates. Faith? I got, let me see about the song. Damn. Y'all got me like, whoa, man. Okay, so we've got Faith.
You gotta have faith. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm channeling fucking Lip Biscuit song. Oh, whoa. Hold on. What'd I do? Okay. Seriously, that's what I heard. And I didn't do it near like Limp Biscuit, And that's the damn truth. Um, not at all, not at all. But that's what I heard. It was the channeling of a Limp Biscuit song. Home Sweet Home by Motley Crue. And that's a really fucking awesome song. If anybody knows that song. Young folks probably don't know that song. Um, Motley Crue. Home Sweet Home. That's what we got. Oh, I love that fucking song. Okay. So... I just channeled Limp Biscuit. You gotta have faith. You gotta have faith. I'm a rock girl for anybody who doesn't know. I just am for real. So you get a lot of that in here. But I channel other stuff too. But this is a rock song. Limp Biscuit. You gotta have faith. If anybody doesn't know it, Google it. Um, so one of you guys, you gotta have faith, I'm presuming. Uh, or you like Limp Biscuit. Um, or something of that nature. I feel you either got to have faith about person, people, place, or situation, or you like Limp Biscuit. however that resonates, whoever that's for. But I heard it like that. You got to have faith. Just like Limp Biscuit, except not really. Yeah. Okay. Just saying. It could be on this, the love part. Maybe for some, you didn't have confidence to pursue this person, but I'm telling you, the, whatever Aquarius dude is, got your eye on this chick, uh, woman, ma'am, them energy, at least these other two, I'm, there's at least two in the universe that want this person. I'm just letting you know, if that's for that, okay? Have some confidence, sirs. Have some confidence, dudes. Have some confidence, you guys. You only live once. Be like the phoenix rising from the ashes, man. Just saying. You never know until you try, you guys. Trust me. Trust me. I mean, I'm not I'm not saying I'm fucking perfect, because I ain't for sure, for sure, for sure. Damn sure not. But I would have never known if I hadn't tried, is what I'm trying to say, things in my life. I would have never known if I hadn't tried. I feel that's the mindset we all need to have. I mean, not on erratic, crazy things, but things that matter, things that are worth it is what I'm trying to say. Maybe anybody needs to hear that. Like the ma'am that's about to renew her vows and I feel she's going to include lingerie. I think that's very noble ma'am and that's very spicy and i love it i mean that's a good example is what i'm trying to say a feminine energy named faith is about to become very significant in an aquarius's life in a very negative way know this Oh, my Lord. I heard a feminine energy named Faith is about to become very significant in a negative way in Aquarius's life. Know this. Oh, Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of feminine energy named Faith, um, like the physical name Faith, is about to become very significant in a negative way in an Aquarius's life. Know this. So in this aspect is the uh, fem energy. Her name is Faith. Um, she's about to become very significant in a negative way in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. You plug it in, how it resonates. Man, we're at 50 minutes, man. Let me see if I hear anything else. I had a good time in this reading. A pregnant cancer is about to become significant in an Aquarius's life. A flower delivery is about to become significant in Aquarius's life. Okay. A flower delivery is about to become significant in Aquarius's life. And uh, what was the other one? Um, shit. A flower delivery and um, shit. Uh, you have to go back and check the other one.
and lots of exercise. And lots of exercise. So a flower delivery, lots of exercise, and then I forgot that damn third one. You'll have to go back and check it, okay? So um, you plug it in how it resonates. You guys, what is up with this? Energy shifting in a very positive way. I've had such a good time in this reading. And a concert. And a concert. And a concert. I wanted to be a fucking Aquarius. What the hell, man? I'm just saying. And lots of travel, for one. With someone so fucking fun. You're gonna love it. And lots of travel soon, so, soon, soon, soon with one person that's so fucking fun, you're going to love it. So you plug it in how it resonates there, Aquarius. I want to be a fucking Aquarius. What the hell? I got jipped. I'm just saying. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just joking. Not really. I love being a Leo son. I don't have any Aquarius in my chart, but I have I like, I, hey, I love Aquariuses. I, I mean, I, if you think, I'm done with the reading, you can click off. I'm done with the reading, you can click off. I'm just going to gap for a minute. But I just want to say, if you read stereotypical Aquariuses on a piece of paper, some people think they're boring. I think they're fucking smart. Maybe too smart for their own good sometimes, but I love all the signs. But whoever the hell is an Aquarius up in this bitch, y'all about to have some fun. I want to go. Can you put me in your damn suitcase? I'm just saying, just saying. All right. We're done. I love you guys. Namaste.